So let's do a quick demonstration of how to use the AD2's waveform generator and oscilloscope. Let's suppose you have a time varying voltage source, Vs of t, and you want to measure the voltage at its terminals. Let's call that voltage V1 of t. Let's use an oscilloscope to measure the value of V1 of t versus time. What we want to see is V1 of t on the vertical axis and time on the horizontal axis. Let's use waveform generator 1 of the AD2 to be the source Vs of t. And let's use scope channel 1 of the AD2 to be the oscilloscope to measure V1 of t. Let's start by making the hardware connections. You can see on the quick reference card for the Analog Discovery 2 that the positive terminal for scope channel 1 is the orange wire and the negative terminal for scope channel 1 is the orange wire with the white stripe. You can also see that waveform generator 1 is connected to the yellow wire and if you look at the documentation you'll see that ground is the negative terminal for waveform generator 1. So let's make the connections that we showed in our schematic. We're going to use a set of header pins to connect the wires of the analog discovery 2. So let's take the positive terminal of scope channel 1 and connect it to waveform generator 1. That will be connecting the orange wire to the yellow wire. And let's take the negative terminal of scope channel 1 and connect it to ground. And ground is any one of the black wires. You can also see on the AD2 that the terminals are labeled in white lettering right above the header. Now let's connect the USB cable and connect the AD2 to our computer. So let's start up the AD2 software called Waveforms. When you first start up the software, you'll get this new workspace. And you'll see along the left side, these are the different options for starting up different test equipment applications. So you have an oscilloscope, a waveform generator, a power supply, etc., all the way down here. So let's start up the waveform generator application. And you'll see on the left side that you can choose a frequency. Let's choose 10 kilohertz as the frequency. Uh, let's choose an amplitude of 2 volts. Let's choose a DC offset of 0.5 volts. And so in this window, this isn't an actual measurement of the waveform. This is just showing you what the waveform generator thinks it's creating. So let's go ahead and start the waveform generator by clicking on Run. Once you've clicked on Run, the AD2 hardware is actually creating this voltage out of its terminals. Now let's instantiate an oscilloscope to measure this waveform. So go up to the top where you'll see the welcome page. Let me click on the welcome page and let's click on scope. Now in the waveforms main window you see the waveform generator at the bottom and the oscilloscope application up at the top. Let's click run and see what happens. Now you can see that the waveform that we're creating uh, is actually being measured by the oscilloscope. You'll see the yellow trace, which is channel 1. That's what we've connected our waveform generator to. And then you also see this blue trace uh, across the screen. And that's actually channel 2, which isn't connected to anything. So let me come over here to the right, uncheck channel 2, and turn off that measurement. So let's zoom into this waveform. Uh, let's change the scale of the x and y axis here. If you want to change the time base or the x-axis uh, to zoom in, what we can do is we can actually change the seconds per division setting to something like 200 microseconds per division. So what that's going to do is zoom in on the waveform, and now each one of these grid divisions on the plot uh, along the time axis is 
200 uh, microseconds or 0.2 milliseconds. Let's suppose we want to expand the range of the y-axis so we can zoom out a little bit. Let's change the range of channel 1 from 500 millivolts per division to 1 volt per division. So we've zoomed out a little bit on the y-axis. So now each one of the divisions vertically is 1 volt. So if you get lost in any one of these settings, what you can do is actually close down the waveform software and start all over again. Go back to the welcome screen, create a waveform generator, and create an oscilloscope. I'd recommend that when you get this up and running that you play with some of these settings. For example, on the waveform generator, you can change from a sine wave to a square wave. And so you'll see the square wave in the waveform generator screen and being measured uh, in the oscilloscope and you can also create waveforms such as a triangle waveform. And you can also change parameters like frequency. Let's go from 10 kilohertz to 5 kilohertz. And let's change the voltage from an amplitude of 2 volts down to 1 volt. So remember, this is not a simulation. This waveform generator is actually using the AD2 device to create a voltage that looks like a triangular waveform. And then the AD2 is actually using its oscilloscope application to measure the voltage at the terminals uh, to which you've connected the waveform generator. So the waveform generator is creating this waveform between the yellow and the black wires, and the oscilloscope is measuring the voltage between the orange wire and the orange wire with the white stripe. So you're actually implementing this voltage and this measurement in hardware. So that's an introduction to the waveform software, and we will be using this a lot in future labs. If you have any questions about this, let me know, and I will see you in future videos and in class. See you next time.